So, just getting ready for the Air Golf Classic Festival. Now, I went to the racetrack last week to go see the four hours of Porto Mau. I absolutely loved it, took my son. We had an amazing time. So, I couldn't resist going back this weekend. Let's get it. So we made it. Oh, look at this old race car here. So this is a tunnel that you enter. And this was a tunnel that I entered last time. I just found out that uh, to get to the grandstand, you have to go to the other side. So you have to exit out of here and then go back to the other side. I'll do that a little bit later because I want to check and see what the grandstand's like. If you can see the tower in the background, that's why I'll be headed a little bit later after check out the paddocks. And this was the uh, hamburger place that ran out of pizza last time we were here. The Toyota. Very cool. Oh, I think I see my future vehicle. The new Land Cruiser. Oh, they have the Toyota Gazoo racing in Portugal. I wonder if they actually have some cars here in the event. Wow. <laughs> Wow, this is incredible. There we go, all the old motorcycles. Old BMWs. Awesome. Wow, look at this thing. It's a lotus. This is so awesome. Definitely say that my uh, expectations weren't very high. This is my first time kind of coming here, but Jesus, all these old cars are quite cool. You see all the teams kind of working on their cars. Prepping the tires. AMG. Civic. Oh, wow, there's many. Ah, oh, this is so cool. Oh, that BMW. Oh, another Mini. 
That is so cool. These are so awesome. I wouldn't mind owning one if they weren't such death traps now, but especially con considering the modern cars. Sketch, you got an accident with a modern car, you, would, you wouldn't make it. Subaru. Thing is awesome. You see some racing? So time to head up to the tower. Back over here. This is day one of the Algarve Classic Festival. All the old racing cars and some modern ones. See a lot of modified Hondas and old Fords and it's really cool to see that. But now to go up to the tower and uh, have a look at the actual race cars. I actually want to see some racing. finished the practice race of the classic cars. I don't know what class it is, but it was a lot of old Porsches and Ford Mustang GTs. I saw a couple of GT350s. Man, that was exciting. It was a rush. And I can't wait to go down to the paddock and check them out. There was also a GT40 that I want to see in person. Was, those are two of like my dream cars. If you don't know, I'm a Ford and Honda guy, so yeah. They're my two favorites. So can't wait to go check it out and I'll head down to the paddock shortly and I'm actually gonna cross over and head over this way and over to the, uh, the, the grandstand, which is over here, because that's where the finish line and the, and the starting blocks are. So definitely gonna head over there and uh, we'll, we'll be back. So on the hunt for the Ford GT, and the Mustang GT350. Two of my favorite cars of all time. So I gotta find them. Oh yeah, this thing ripped. It was ripping on the track. ripping like crazy. Uh-oh, coming up on my section. Oh, on the power, baby. Yeah. This, on the power. Tight bars, red badges, baby. 
boy. That was a strike to get the Honda power, but off to find the Ford GTs. Love the color. Very cool. Well, just found what I was looking for. Yeah, can't contain my excitement. First time I saw ya. My dream car. Oh my god. Walking by so beautiful girl. You moved like a song. I can't explain it. Your melody singing. And that was that Corvette that was ripping over there. That thing rips. I think uh, right beside it. There you go. In every way. It was a drip. Oh baby, you're amazing. Get me in the day. My dream car. I'm so caught. Oh, it's fur. Oh, la la la. Oh, la la la. Oh, baby, you're. Oh, la la la. Oh, la la la. Oh, la la la. Oh, baby, you're amazing. Girl, you can have it. I headed back to the other side so I can actually check out the grandstand. See what it looks like here. That's where the finish line and start lines are. Getting so from the side of the paddocks, you actually got to walk up under this tunnel. And then get to the grandstands. Just where I'm headed. Get it. This is the other side of the facility. I really don't know what this building is. Maybe like the racing school or something like that, which I actually do plan to take some courses and uh, so I can actually drive the racetrack here. So yeah, take some driving lessons. Upcoming episode. Oh yeah. The other thing about this facility is that uh, you actually have the Carter drone, which is the, the little go-karts, go-karts, racetracks. I'm actually going to get my son to do this, and uh, hopefully I get into racing, which would be awesome. Jesus, Wendy, glad you got, I'm sure you guys could hear it. Anyway, here we are. So they have a ticket area down here. Actually, I'm actually going to check this out because it's a store. I want to see if they have some race clothing. Things that I shouldn't be buying. I'm sure my wife's going to give me shit about. But uh, 
because the last thing I need is more clothes. But let's check it out before I go to the grandstand. All right, just checked out the store. They had a bunch of cool stuff in there, mostly like World Superbike t-shirts and hoodies and, and MotoGP hats and t-shirts. But the uh, only thing I thought was kind of cool was actually this. It was a F1 magazine basically on the track. So they gave it to me for free, which was always great. I love getting stuff for free. Okay, so we have concession stands on the side. You might get a snack. That's the other thing. The surrounding area of this racetrack is gorgeous. It's kind of set up in the foothills. In the mountains. It's just beautiful. All right. Back to the racing. Oh, wow. Right close in person. So we've checked out the grandstand. This side is cool, but there's hardly anyone over here. And I see why. Because you have another side, the tower, which is there. And then you have all the turns and chicanes on that side. The cool part about the grandstand is that you have to have the starting line, which is really cool. So, anyway, heading back over to the other side. Still quite windy. What is this? Mini? It says Pixie. <laughs> This should be a fun little race class.
signing out from the first day of racing for the Argyle Classic. I'll be back later this week. It's a fun day. It's a good day. Let's save the highlights. We're actually seeing the Ford Mustang GT350 and also the Ford GT. Man, what a highlight. Super stoked. All right, see you guys later this weekend. Peace.